But first at 530, authorities are trying to pinpoint the cause of a destructive fire at a Johnston recycling plant. Flames broke out yesterday afternoon at the Schnitzer steel plant, forcing residents in the area to evacuate over concerns of toxic fumes. And today, state and local officials return to the site looking for answers. It's our top local story at 530. Eyewitness News reporter Shantae Lands is in Johnston with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom. Just 24 hours after a fire at this recycling plant prompted a neighborhood-wide evacuation, both state and local fire officials returned today to determine the cause. Monday is back to business as usual for the Schnitzer recycling plant in Johnson. A much quieter scene near the entrance, but Sunday afternoon, dark smoke billowed in the air after a large scrap metal pile caught fire. It was hard to get to the fire because of the amount of scrap metal and the amount of vehicles that were on top. We needed the company's help with their heavy machinery to break apart the scrap metal. Deputy State Fire Marshal Michael Sweeney says the materials at the bottom of that pile will help his team's investigation. We're still trying to determine as to what the ignition source was. Sweeney and other fire officials met inside the site's main building to debrief what they could to determine a cause. We're still interviewing some other people and still trying to track down a couple of more witnesses. Sweeney says this fire could have posed a large threat to nearby homes. The initial fear of toxic fumes from the smoke prompted an evacuation. After testing the air quality, authorities say the smoke was not dangerous. The materials and the carcinogens that come from the fire uh, at times can be uh, not healthy. Sweeney says the evacuation was just a precaution because his team did not want to take any chances. Reporting with the Northwest Mobile Newsroom, Shante Lenz, Eyewitness News.